Hey guys, today we're rocking the double look, clearly. So I'm streaming in an hour, but I thought I'd film a video before then. The lighting in this video will progressively get darker as the sun is now setting over sunny Manchester. So yeah, just deal with that. <sighs> so the idea and concept for this video will be answering your DMs <clears throat> my voice just broke. <laughs> the idea for this video is I'm going to be answering your questions whilst trying weird Japanese food. I feel like Japan is known for its um, weird Kit Kat flavors, so I'm gonna be rolling with that. We'll do a question per candy. This is a great one to start. On Insta, who couldn't you imagine not following? Peach, okay, this is peach mint flavor. Oh, I can't open anything with nails on. Mm. It tastes like a fruity bounty. That's. <laughs> Hope that helps. I'm totally reviewing these as well. We're gonna go snack number one. Seven out of ten. Tastes like toothpaste. This one is matcha. It's also a Kit Kat. My favorite person that I probably follow on Instagram is Zumi. They were one of the first cosplayers that I ever found. Cosplays are amazing and I've been following him for ages, so. <clears throat> Question number two. Oh wait, we give green tea a six out of 10. It's not as good as the other one. Favorite tea. Personally, I really like Earl Grey tea with milk. In England, we make tea with milk. Okay, that's just how it works. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know what these are, but there's a picture of an orange on the front. Oh, it just dissolved in my mouth. That tasted like, like Palmer Violets, that kind of thing, but orange flavor. But it was like, it, it fizzed and then, yeah, five out of 10. What do you want to cosplay in the future? Um, at the moment I'm working on a cosplay for Hyuna. I still don't know how to say her name, but I know it's not that. This amazing person. Hyuna's the first ever K-pop artist I ever listened to and she's my favorite. I'm trying to cosplay this look from Roll Deep, the music video for that. I'm trying to learn the dance for it as well, but I haven't done dance classes for like a few years now and it's not going well. Okay, next snack. Whatever this is, it looks pretty. Let's try it. How tall are you? It's a fucking packaging, man. There we go. Oh, it smells like red bean, red bean paste. This just looks like a, a more crispy mochi, <laughs> like red bean mochi. Oh. Mm. We give the red bean mochi a 7.5. I got one of my friends to measure my height the other day and in Doc Martens I was about 5'6 I think. So I'm 5'5 five five because my Doc Martens add like at least an inch. Will you go to Gamescon in Germany one day? Dude, I'd fucking love to. That looks like unflavored Pocky. You're gonna need scissors. I've always wanted to go to Gamescon, <laughs> but um, at the moment I'm about to go to Chicago. That's my next plan, because I'm going to Ace Con. If anyone else is going to Ace Con, look out for me. I'll post what I'm cosplaying. I'm really excited. Gamescon I'd love to go to, because considering I live in England, uh, Gamescon isn't that far in comparison. I've never tasted anything like that before. It's good. Nine out of 10. They were good. Why they say to you, dude, are you a boy? Are you saying, why do people call me dude? It's pretty common in Western culture that you just call everyone dude, whether you're a girl or a boy. I don't, I call Jess a dude, like it's not. This isn't even food. Oh, it came with some little stickers. I don't understand. It smells like a cleaning product. I'm kind of scared to eat it. It smells lemony. Oh my God, please be edible. I think it's gum. We're giving that gum a five out of 10. To answer your question though, I'm a girl. Want to hear your voice? Well, watch this video then. <laughs> now, I don't speak Japanese, but there's prawn on the front of this. So I'm gonna assume these are prawn flavored. Wow. Wow. Oh, those of you that know me, you'll know that I hate seafood. I hate the smell of fish and seafood. It makes me feel sick. So this will be fun. Prawn gets a four. If you had a quid every time someone said, OMG do a litre, how rich would you be? I know I'd probably live in the LA Hills though, so. Stop telling me to cosplay a litre. It's happened. 
These look like gummy bears. What's your favorite song right now? I get asked this question a lot, so I'm just gonna keep answering with what my favorite song is on that particular day. I really like Sunflower. If I ever feel down, then just put Sunflower on. Mood immediately boosted. My camera just died. We're in a tray. A three. When will you travel to Japan? I'm planning on actually traveling to Korea and Japan at the same time. So I'll be flying over to Seoul, then from Seoul to Tokyo, then Tokyo back over to England. I'll be doing a week in each and it'll be at some point in the spring. Blueberry something. I think blue. What is one food you've heard of and really wanted to try? Well. Um, oh no, that tastes weird. It's so sour. That gets like a two out of 10. One food I've always wanted to try. I don't know. <laughs> weird one, but I've always wanted to try borscht, which is like, it's a Ukrainian soup. Steampunk, do you like it? Yes. I actually did a project on steampunk um, for my art, somewhere down there with all my sketchbook. So yeah, man, I'm into it. I'm getting new questions in as I'm filming this video. <laughs> What is your natural hair color? New candy of choice. This is a picture of ice cream. <laughs> candy. What was the question again? Natural hair color. My natural hair color is black. As you can see, my natural eye color is black. My natural hair color is very, very dark brown going into black, so. Look at that, it's like a little marble. Yo! It actually tastes like ice cream though. Man, that's so good. Straight up, 10 out of 10. I look like a chipmunk. Do you speak Spanish or do you understand some Spanish? I do, I grew up in Spain when I was a little kid and so I picked up some Spanish from that. I understand it better than I can speak it. When are you gonna do another Sakura cosplay? I've never cosplayed anyone called Sakura before. <laughs> That's it for all the candy by the way, we're done now. Do you plan another Alita cosplay? Which fictional world would you want to live in? <laughs> Twilight for the lols. Yeah, man, I want to get some freaky vampire baseball going. No joke though, I used to be obsessed with Twilight when I was a kid. Me and like my best friends, we all got obsessed with Twilight at the same time and went to see it. This is so embarrassing, I don't know why I'm saying this. We used to go into one of our like back gardens and we used to try and reenact the baseball scene from Twilight and we'd get like a tennis racket and then these like, plastic fruit you know the ones that they sell kids these things we used to get all these lemons and then we used to <laughs> then we just like play baseball in the back garden i remember one time we hit a lemon onto the roof and i think it's still up there to be honest with you it got stuck on the roof there is still to this day a lemon on that roof yeah embarrassing childhood facts about kisa anyways i'm gonna end this video here and i'm gonna go stream now on twitch overall here are the japanese candy rankings hope you enjoyed this video guys everyone have a good night bye guys the guy in the office building across from me who can see me filming this video and i think he's just staring at me so that's great <laughs>